Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Well, this week's project is a decorative jewelry box. It is made from mahogany and pecan. It has uh, pecan front, mahogany sides, hand cut dovetail joinery. It's got a panel lid that features an inset panel of uh, spalted pecan. And then it has two trays. It has a lower tray and an upper tray. So stick around and we'll get right into it. Okay, I was able to resaw the two boards on the table saw once I cut them down. And I just want to show you some of the book match patterns that were hiding inside of these two boards. It's going to make for some pretty details uh, when the box is all finished and everything. But those book matches were hiding inside and uh, the a little bit of spalting had occurred on this board on the inside so really makes me uh, look forward to uh, getting into the rest of that pecan uh, stack that I have Alright guys, what you just saw me do was I took a chisel and laid it on my front piece, which is going to be my pin piece of this box. I'm going to do hand cut dovetails for this particular box. And I laid the chisel on the pin piece and I ran the tail piece across that chisel to create a line, uh, to cut a line into the wood to indicate the depth of that pin piece into the tails. Now if you have a marking gauge you can do the same thing with your marking gauge. I don't have a marking gauge. It's one thing I need to get um, but for now this will work just fine. And as you can see here I went ahead and marked out my tails. I got them spaced about where I have three tails about three quarter inches wide and go ahead and start cutting them out. I'm no master dovetailer, so take what you can from this and work with it. <laughs> you want to cut on the way side of the line. That's very important. I don't have a fancy dovetail saw. ridged back saw would be a lot more helpful. You wouldn't have that flimsiness. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first pair of tails, uh, or set of tails, and I'll take a chisel and clean them up. I just want to get all, a lot of the majority, you know, roughed out of there first. Now I'm just, <clears throat> I've got the pin board cut uh, for the front of this box, and now I'm just finessing the fit. I cut inside my waistlines, so that way I could sneak up to the line and make sure that I have a really nice fit. As I said, I am uh, 
no expert when it comes to dovetails so take whatever lesson that you can get out of this and then go watch a dovetail making video <laughs> from someone who knows what they're doing uh, this is one joint that I don't make very much um, but I really wanted to accent this box uh, because of this pecan and so I thought uh, some dovetails would look nice quite figured out what to do with the lid just yet I want I want to do something decorative I'm not quite sure yet I've got some really uh, decorative pecan pieces where it has some spalting in it and I want to accent that somehow so I'll get that figured out and get it ready to uh, assemble and, and attach and then we're gonna start working on the inside of the box I got a couple ideas for maybe a couple of trays or something a couple of drawer trays and uh, I'll get it laid out and then we'll move forward Okay guys, what you're looking at is I've got the bottom base gluing up as well as the panels uh, for this box. The bottom base is in my cam clamp and on these panels, I glued the whole boards together because, but I want this spalted area here and once this glue, I just did the glue up, once this glue sets up um, and rubberizes a little bit, I'll go ahead and I'll peel it off these panels. But I want this section of spalting here for the lid and on this panel as well same thing when that glue sets up a little bit I'll go ahead and uh, scrape it off but I want this spalted section for the lid and I'm gonna glue one on top of the other that way you can see the spalting from the inside and from the outside when the, lid, the box is closed when the box is open and I'm gonna build a frame around it the boards of the trays they're, they're gonna be made out of pecan as well and I gotta cut these down these aren't these aren't processed at all but um, I'm going to measure the inside depth of my box and basically I, I need to find out how much room I have for and how big the bottom tray is going to be and then the little rail and then how big the top is going to be. I'm going to get those measurements and then I'll start processing these boards and get the um, inner trays together. And for the inner tray joinery I'm just going to use a rabbit joint. Uh, to assemble them together. I'm not going to do any miters or anything like that. It's just going to be a simple rabbit joint and then there's going to be a rabbit on the bottom for the uh, you know the bottom panel of the little tray to go into.
Okay guys, if you remember, I showed you these panels when they were in the clamps. Uh, now I'm going to start uh, by getting a piece cut out of this panel here for the bottom of the box. And then I'm going to cut out, remember I told you these two spalted areas right here. I'm going to cut this one out and this area right here, which you might not be able to see it very well. I'm not sure. I, I can't see how well you can see it. Um, but I'll, I'll be sure to show you after I make up the panels and everything. But I want to cut this area out and that area. And I want to glue these two panels together, or those two pieces together, to make a, a thick panel. And I want to incorporate it into my top. So that way you see uh, you have a nice spalted top. And then when you open the lid... You can see it from the inside, the, you know, the other decorative panel as well. Okay, guys, uh, where I'm at right now is the panel, the inner panel of the lid is glued up. If you recall, I, I glued the two 3 inch boards together that had the spalting on them. And uh, that panel is done. I just need to process it now along with the lid frame pieces that are going to surround this panel. The box itself has been sanded and, and cleaned up and everything. The bottom trim has been added. And then the inner trays. I have one smaller inner tray. And then I have one large inner tray that is the full length and width of the uh, box itself. And then the smaller tray sits on top. And it's about half the size of that box, a, a little bit more, but it's able to slide back and forth. I talked earlier about putting some rails in there, and I decided against doing that because these boxes can just sit right up on top of one another. There's plenty of clearance. This bottom tray is an inch and a half tall. This top tray is an inch tall. And when they're both in the box, it still gives me some room around here for the lid and for this inner panel to fit inside and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute because now we're going to work on the door and then once the or not the door but I'm sorry the lid we're going to work on that and once the lid is done and processed we can go ahead and get it attached and then get our finish on this box and wrap it up Okay, this is the configuration I decided for on the lid. Um, basically, as you can see, you can see both panels from inside. And let me take this off here, and I'll show you exactly what's going on. I cut my frame pieces down to about 3 8 inch thick. And they're all mitered, of course. And on the panel, I cut a groove down the center of the panel, the same thickness as these frame pieces. And on this panel, on the top and the bottom, I ran a small chamfer around all four edges. So now, all I have to do is glue this frame together. That will give me my lid. So I'm going to go ahead and get it glued up. And uh, then we'll get the hinges mortised into the frame of the box and get it installed onto the box. All right, well, the box is done and the lid is hinged on. As you can see, as I showed you earlier, it has two trays. It has a lower tray, which is the full length and width of the inside of the box, and then it has a half tray. The lid features a inset panel of spalted pecan and it's surrounded by mahogany. We have mahogany sides and then the two pecan front and back. 
and then the trim. Hand cut dovetails. And that will wrap up this project.